Also new tonight, two horses stolen from a family's barn in the Cypress area, only to be found in a vacant lot nearby. Now the owner wants to know who took those horses. Our Jonathan Martinez joining us live in the 12,000 block of Huffmeister Road with the clues that could help catch the horse thieves. Jonathan? Yeah, Bill, you know, the owners believe it is the same group of suspects who broke onto their property twice before this latest go round, though. They tell us the suspects busted down a portion of this fence, got the horses out and literally rode them down the road. Well, they put that story on social media and it made the rounds. Fortunately, not long after those horses were found just down the way. This is Coco. Now safely in their stalls where they belong, Don Shimaro, the owner of Isabella Farm, says she's grateful to have Coco and Nick back home. I've been in Cyprus practically my whole life, and I would have never thought any of this would ever happen. The pair of Arabian horses went for an unexpected late night ride Wednesday after thieves kicked down a part of a fence. There are shoe prints on some of those boards over there where they try to kick those down. And broke onto the property before taking off with the pair. They jump on uh, both the horses and then just walk out very nonchalantly. Security cameras were rolling the whole time, catching two of the three suspects riding off. You feel very helpless at that moment, watching all that and just in shock. Shamaro says it wasn't until almost 14 hours later someone spotted the horses not far down the road, left alone in the backyard of an empty home. They went over there to see, took a picture, and they said, Are these the horses? I said, Oh my God, yes, that's what, those are the horses. The horses have since been checked out by a vet. Shamaro just happy to have them back. In this industry, those horses get stolen. They, you don't see them again a lot of times. So I'm blessed, very blessed and thankful. As for the thieves who took them, though, they're still out there. But Shamaro hopes not for long. I think they're capable of doing much worse. And so I don't think these people should be out. I think they should be behind bars somewhere. And the owner tells us Coco was recovering from a leg injury and that this may set her back a couple of months. But beyond that, both horses are said to be in pretty good health. Now, she has filed the case with the Harris County Sheriff's Office. Of course, if you recognize those suspects or know anything about this case, you're urged to contact authorities. We're reporting live tonight from Cyprus. I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC Channel 2 News.